everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. Today I'm back with another video, and this one is kind of inspired by, um, it is inspired by Canela Soraco. Go check out her channel. She's got an awesome channel. She's like one of the queens or the duchesses or whatever of Dutch pouring. Um, I'm not doing a Dutch pour. I'm doing a twist and twirl, and this is the twist and twirl um, that I do, and I use a little piece of PVC pipe. But I am using the light blue violet that she did in her recent video as a base color for her Dutch pour, and it came out so pretty. So I want to try it with my twist and twirl and see how it comes out. I'm not using all the same colors that she used because I don't have all the same colors that she used, but the colors I, these are my, this is my base paint. I mixed it with Floetrol and water like I usually do. The colors I'm going to use is the Pebeo Very Light Blue. Uh, Blue Quartz by Folk Art, Deep Sapphire by Deco Art, um, Blick Fluorescent Purple or Violet, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics, some Pearl by Deco Art, some Artist Loft Silver, and maybe a little Powder Blue, and this is, I'm not even sure who this is because I've had it for a while. Okay, so these are the colors. I'm gonna put my base paint down and get started. And if you're unfamiliar with Twist and Twirl, I have several videos on how I do it. It's basically an open cup pour, but you manipulate the cup. Um, and I use a little piece of PVC pipe. Um, you can use a cup that has the bottom cut off. So any, anything you have really around. Um, this is a 12 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. I am going to lay my base paint down and we'll get started. All right, I'm back and I got my base paint down. Um, any of my sides that I feel like need to get a little bit more coverage, I'll do that at the end. Um, so I'm going to take my torch. I'm just going to pop some air bubbles. This is one of my favorite colors to use. I just never have used it as a base paint. So and when I saw that she did that, it was awesome. All right. So I gotta take my little tool. All right, so this is where you start adding your colors. All right, so let's see which way do I wanna do it. I think I will start here. in this corner and I'm just going to start adding the color so here's the dioxazine purple which I just mixed these up they should be good okay I'm going to squirt that in there and then I'm going to take a little of the Pebeo light blue violet squirt that in there I'm sorry Pebeo very blue iridescent put a little pearl Blick fluorescent purple. Let's start with that one, okay? So I'm just gonna take it, twist it, twirl it up. Okay? Now I'm gonna do the, make sure this is shaking. The sapphire, this is the deep sapphire by Deco Art. Okay, and I'll do a little of the powder blue. And some silver. And let's do the blue quartz. And I'm going up, down, up, over. You kind of just take it. So I don't know if you can see what's going on there. It looks pretty cool. All right, so now I'm going to go back with the darker purple, the axazine. Pebio, aqua. Let's do some of this pretty purple. And a little bit more of the pearl. And the 
metallics are the ones that give it all the cells, I think. Blue. What did I do next? Silver. Powder blue. And the quartz. All right. So you keep adding your color until you get to where you want to stop. So I'm just gonna gonna probably I'll probably stop up like around there. Um, so I'll probably do it like two more times. Um, but if you could see, this looks really cool. All right, that was the um, aqua green. So I'll probably end up speeding this part up. So. You don't have to sit here and watch me pour the entire thing. All right, and then we're going to lift and up, twirl, lift. What did I do next? Silver. doesn't matter because you're swirling these around. This is really cool right there. I'm going to do a little more dark. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to change it up at the end here. Go dark, purple, blue, do the dark blue, and the bright purple. And that's probably where I'm going to end up ending it. So now I'm just going to stretch this out just a tad. I'm going to torch it real quick. Just to... Alright. So now the fun part is twirling it into the design you want. So you have to have, make sure you have a paper towel because every time you take your tool up, whatever it may be, you're going to um, wipe it off. All right, so I'm gonna start at the bottom here. I'm just gonna start twirling out some of the paint. Because you have a lot of color under here. And you kinda just wanna twirl it any way you want. And 
basically I'm barely, barely going over the surface of the paint. Okay, so you saw me twist the rest of it out and then I blew out the ends because I felt like it needed a little softness um, with this background color. Let me just show you again. I usually don't do that. Sometimes I'll do it a little less, um, but you see this has more pointier edges, pointier Oh, I just got color on that. So, um, oh gosh, let me get that off. Um, so the, yeah, so this has more of the pointy edges. So, um, I wanted this to be softer. I wanted it to be more floral looking because of this color background. Um, I really love this. I think it looks great. Um, kind of wishing I used maybe a brighter blue in it because I think it would have really popped. But um, it's beautiful. It looks like hydrangea, like a big hydrangea, not little ones. <laughs> um, I really like it. It's really pretty. Um, love, obviously, love this color. I use this. I, I do use this light blue violet often. I have it mixed up in a bottle always. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really pretty. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, do you want to see this with a Dutch pour? Do you want to see this with a half, maybe a half and half Dutch pour? That would be pretty. Um, 
or swipe. That might be nice, just the swipe. Um, or how about just when I blow it out, when I just you do my style Dutch pour, which is I just use my mouth to blow it out. Um, I don't know, let me know in the comments and so just make sure you get your sides. You run your finger along the bottom um, to make sure that if it is going over the sides, you stop it from going over the sides. All right. Um, this came out really pretty. I'm very happy with it. Um, I see what happens when it dries, but most likely this will get resin because of all the shimmer in here. There's the silver, there's the pearl, there's all the metallic paints. It will definitely look gorgeous with a coat of resin. This area right here is my favorite. So that's what I would have wanted more in here of. So I think I used a little too much of the metallic dark blue in here. Um, and I can fix that. I can go in and try to add more turquoise, but uh, I, I like it the way it is and I'm not gonna mess with it. I think it's really pretty and when it's resined, it's gonna look fabulous. All right, so let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It's growing nicely. Um, and uh, check out my other videos. I have um, videos on re a lot of resin videos where I do resin geos, where I do um, just showing you how to do a resin, resin beach scene, how to um, do a um, alcohol inks. I just started making videos on those. I've been doing alcohol inks for a while, but I just figured, oh, why, why, why not add them to my channel? Um, doesn't have to be just a pouring channel. It's an art channel. All right, so have a good one and I will see you all very soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.